Hello guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to another video on this channel. If you guys can't tell by my voice already, I am currently a little bit sick. It was even worse last week, hence why the video didn't go up. Sorry about that, but I am gonna try my best to get this video up as soon as possible. Today's is actually a long-awaited one because I always get so many questions about this and I'm finally answering it for you guys and I'm finally telling you guys all the information that you've been waiting for. I'm gonna be explaining where I live, where I was born, where I'm from, all of like my history in that sense because I have never really addressed it. I mentioned it in videos and things but I still get questions about it on the daily so I'm finally gonna sit down and just explain everything. Hopefully you'll understand a little bit more about my life after this video. I'm gonna start off by giving you guys a little bit of a summary and then I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram about specifics and I'm gonna be answering those just to get into a little more, more detail. Let's get into it. Alrighty, first thing I wanna say, I have absolutely no connection to America whatsoever. I was not born there, I have never lived there, my parents aren't from there, none of my family lives there, nothing like that, I'm just, I don't know, I just sound American to a lot of people and that's why a lot of people think I live there, but I don't. My mom's from Finland and my dad's from Germany and they met when my mom moved there for a job, so I was born in Germany and I lived there till I was eight. When I was eight years old, my family moved to Shanghai, China, kind of random, I know, but I lived there for about four and a half years. When I moved there, I did not know any English, I did not speak any Chinese, obviously, so I was kind of completely lost. <laughs> my parents wanted me to learn English as fast as possible, so they put me in an English-speaking international school, and I basically caught on pretty fast because everyone around me was speaking it, so I'd say that I was fluent in English within like six months. So that's how I learned to speak English. Obviously in Shanghai, everybody spoke Chinese, so I also studied Chinese, and I used that to kind of get around and talk to basic people, order food at restaurants, stuff like that. When I was around 12 o'clock, tw when I was around 12 o'clock, yes. <coughs> when I was 12 years old, my parents got the opportunity to move to Singapore and because of the fact that we knew we didn't want to go back to Germany and that was our only choice, that's when we moved to Singapore, which is where I'm currently living. Within Singapore, I've attended three different schools and the third one I started at last year and I'm really happy at the one I go to now. It's an international and a private school, hence why it has kind of better facilities than a public school in America might have. It's an international school and because I'm currently a junior and in my last two years of high school, I'm currently doing the IB program, which stands for International Baccalaureate. I think that's how you say it. If you want to look into it more, you totally can, but basically it's just known for being really, really difficult and I just started and that's what I'm currently doing. If you don't know anything about Singapore, basically it's a really, really small country right underneath Malaysia in Southeast Asia. Even though it's really small, it has a really successful economy and it's just generally filled with high rises and no matter where you live in Singapore, you're most likely living in the city because there's not really any suburbs or like a rural area here. What makes living here so easy is the fact that the official language is English, everybody speaks English, and um, it makes it really convenient. Also causes a lot of confusion for you guys because all the signs you see and stuff like that and videos are in English, but obviously I don't live in America. Actually, a lot of people apparently thought that I lived in Australia, so there you go. I don't live in Australia, but close to Australia. I don't know why I've never really talked about where I live or anything like that, but I just thought that it would make me more relatable, I guess. I know the biggest audience for YouTube videos and stuff like that is in America, so I thought if I talked about things like Target and stuff they only have in America, that would make me more attractive to subscribers. But recently I've realized that me living abroad actually makes me more unique. Hence why I'm explaining everything to you guys. Now that I've given you an outline, I'm gonna answer a couple questions that you guys had for me. First question, and the one that got asked the most, was how many languages do I speak? My first language is obviously English. I speak it at home, I speak it at school, all that kind of stuff, so that's why it's the language I'm best at. Because I grew up in Germany and lived there for eight years, I speak German. I'm not the best at it, and I definitely wouldn't say that I'm fluent, but I can also keep like basic conversations and stuff like that going. Here comes the confusing part. I actually speak a little bit of Swedish. 
My mom's from the part of Finland where most people speak Swedish, so that's what I grew up speaking with my mom's side of the family. And obviously because I lived in China for five years and I studied it for like seven, I'd say, I speak some Mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to languages, I've also gotten so many questions of you guys asking if I could film myself speaking them. So here you go. I'm going to introduce myself in the four languages that I just mentioned. Are you guys laughing at me? Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm 16 years old and I'm German. Hallo, ich bin Hannah. Ich bin 16 Jahre alt und ich bin Deutsch. Hey, ich heiße Hannah. Jag ist 16 und ich Tusk. Oh my god, my Swedish accent is so bad. I want to die. Ni hao, wa jia Hannah. Wa shi liu sui hao, wa shi do go ren. I'm not gonna lie, I'm considering cutting that out. <laughs> Somebody asked me, do you like the way you grew up or would you have preferred a more typical school slash childhood experience? I'd say there's definitely like things I maybe missed out on because of the fact that I've moved around so much and stuff like that. But in the end, I'm still like normal. I've just moved and lived in different countries. I'm definitely really, really grateful to have had the opportunity to live abroad though because I would be such a different person if I had stayed in Germany and I only knew how to speak German and I went to German public school. Like I just, I can't imagine how different my life would be. So yeah, I would pick the way I live now over a traditional childhood experience any day. But also it's not like my childhood experience was that different. Where would you want to live in the future slash go to university? For college, a lot of people in my school already know like where they're going, but I have no idea. I'm thinking probably either the UK or Canada or the US, most likely the UK, but I do definitely want to apply to NYU because that's a college that I'm really interested in. I don't know, we'll see where I end up living. Next question is, is it safe to stay out late? One of my favorite things about Singapore is the fact that it's known for being super safe and no matter where I am, well, okay, it depends wh where you are. Like if you're going into like a really sketchy area, you might want to watch out. But majority of places, you really don't have to worry about safety that much. I can walk behind a building to get to a bus stop and take the bus home alone at like 11 p.m. and I know I'll be fine. And it's just amazing. 10 out of 10, favorite thing about living in Singapore. Was it hard moving countries? I'd say the transition between Germany and Shanghai was a lot worse than Shanghai and Singapore just because I didn't speak the language at all and I was just really, really confused and I never even expected to um, move or anything like that. But I think it was more difficult just moving schools constantly because having to make new friends all the damn time sucks and it just, it takes a while to settle in and then every time you do settle, you end up leaving and it just, it, yeah, not fun. Would you want to move back to Shanghai or Germany? Definitely Germany. I don't know about Shanghai. I think it was an interesting experience, but I don't know if I would go back to it. Uh, Germany for sure though. Moving to like Berlin or another big city would definitely be something I'd be interested in because it's where I'm from. Like, of course, I'd want to go back at some point. Point, point. I think that's the last question I'm gonna answer actually. Hopefully this video was insightful and interesting for you guys and if you didn't know anything about this then there you go now you finally know where I'm from and kind of my background a little bit more. To me because basically everybody else that I know in Singapore goes to an international school most people have grown up the same way I have and it doesn't really seem weird for me and I feel like I've grown up and had like a normal childhood but I feel like to you guys, it probably looks really, really like interesting. So if you want to see more videos about me talking about like Singapore or filming more stuff about the culture here or anything like that, I'd be down to do that because I do realize that it makes me a little bit unique and different from other YouTubers that are on this platform. I don't think I ever really went fully out of my way to keep it a huge secret. And I've definitely mentioned small things in videos, but I'm glad to have finally like filmed a video and just talked about everything fully. I love you guys all to the moon and back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. It's really no flakes, I got it. Six figure checks, I got it. These hoes like so psychotic. Like they don't know I got it. 30K cash, I got it.